Congrats! So now you're able to write functions that accept multiple parameters and return multiple values, it's time to see how these learned skills can be valuable in a data science context. In the following exercises, you'll write a function that analyzes a data frame of Twitter data. The function that you'll write will return a dictionary containing data of how many times each language was used across all the tweets in the data frame. We'll see later in this course that we can generalize such a function to count occurrences of any items in a data frame column. Let's now recap the basic ingredients of a function. We have a function header, which begins with the keyword def. This is followed by the function name, parameters in parentheses, and a colon. We then have the function body, which contains doc strings enclosed in triple quotation marks. Doc strings describe what the function does. The rest of the function body performs the computation that the function does. The function body then closes with the keyword return, followed by the value or values returned by the function. That's it from me. Happy function writing.